Hey guys, it's Annie from CarsieraChick.com and today I want to talk to you guys about crossovers. What is a crossover? Well, a crossover is in its most basic form just a filter. It's a filter of frequency. So um, when you have subs and you have an amplifier, you'll notice on the side of the amp there's this thing that says LP, LP filter. And what that means is it's a low pass filter and we're only filtering through to that subwoofer lower frequencies. And on a four channel amp, you're gonna see HP, HP filter, high pass filter. And what that's gonna do is only filter through higher frequencies to those interior speakers. And we do this because each component plays certain frequencies better than others. So you wouldn't wanna put a treble and mid range through a subwoofer, it's just such a large speaker that it's really designed just to play those lower frequencies. Same thing for six and a half, four inch, three inch speakers. You really don't want to try to put bass through those speakers. They crackle, they break up, they distort because they're not designed to play those lower bass frequencies. So if we filter our frequencies before they get to our speakers so that each speaker can play what it's best designed to play, everything's going to play a lot more efficiently, a lot cleaner. So it's important to get these crossover settings right. A lot of head units these days have crossovers built in, and that's a good thing. It allows you to be pretty flexible when you're building your system. You could start with, you know, your head unit, then do some subs, and maybe leave the stock speakers for now, or even upgrade speakers, but power them off of the radio rather than off a separate amplifier. So if your head unit has crossovers built in, that's going to allow you to filter those frequencies going to those interior speakers, and ideally you want to have like six and a half inch speakers and you want to have those playing around 80 hertz and up. And then you want to have your sub playing around 80 hertz and down. So both are going to be set at 80. The difference is on your subs, it's a low pass filter and on your interior speakers, it's a high pass filter. But this way in our total system, we're getting the full spectrum of frequencies. You would not want to set your crossovers on your head unit, say like 120 hertz and then have your sub in the back playing in 80 or even 60 hertz and down because now you have a gap. Now you have a gap between 60 and 120 hertz that you're just not getting, period, throughout that whole system. Those frequencies have been cut out. They've been filtered out. So you don't want to leave a gap in between where you have those settings set. So you still want to get the full spectrum of frequencies going throughout your system in your car. You just want to filter out to each, each component what frequencies are going to play best. So ideally, you want to get 80 hertz and up going to your interior speakers and 80 hertz and down going to your sub. Now, once in a while, you get into a situation where a car has just got small speakers, um, Cavaliers like in front and uh, Pontiac Sunfire, stuff like that. A lot of GM vehicles, like 2000 to like 2003, even I think earlier than that, maybe like 97, they put these small ass speakers in the front, like four by sixes. And then you got these six by nines in the back. So it sucks because you got like all of your sound really coming from the back. So in a situation like that, you want a head unit or an amplifier that has separate crossover settings for front and for rear. This way in the front, you can at least put those crossovers around 120 hertz because that's really kind of probably where you should have them for a 4x6. They really can't play much lower than that efficiently. Um, the back ones though, you would want to have around 80. So this way you're still getting throughout the system all the frequencies that you need, but you're still allowing each component to play what it's best to playing it. In a situation like that, you can up the crossover a little bit on the subwoofer. This way, you're not missing that frequency range. So I hope that helps clear up what a crossover actually is and what it does. And another time we'll talk about crossover networks, which is different. That's a crossover between like a speaker and a tweeter. Um, but for today, I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and, you know, when you see that on your head, you know, that LP filter, that HP filter, what does that mean? Or when you see it on your amp, now you guys know what that means and about where you should have it set. If you have any questions for your particular stereo setup, um, where you should have your crossover set, just email me or comment on the blog here and I'd be happy to help you out. All right, guys, till next time. Thanks for watching.